Hello. Before we get started, please go and subscribe. We're currently at 193 subscribers, and we will soon hit 200. So go do that now before we start the video. And today's video is on the Nevada Democratic Caucus taking polls and my prediction. Check out the live stream. It'll be on Saturday when the results start coming in, so go check that out. So currently in the Nevada caucus polling, Sanders is up 14 points, taking the lead over Biden drastically and very quickly. Sanders is pulled at 30 points, Biden's at 16, Buttigieg is at 14, Warren's at 13.7, Starr's at 10.3, Klobuchar is at 10, and Gabbard's at 2. In let me go to national before and the national polling Sanders is up 11 points taking the lead over Biden Biden dropped from 30 points down to about 17 and a half and uh, Sanders jumped from about 23 to 28 and a half Bloomberg jumped from about mm, eight points to about 16 points in polling Sanders is 28.6. Biden 17.6, Bloomberg's at 15.9, Warren's at 12.3, Buttigieg is at 10.3, Klobuchar's at 6.6, Steyer's at 2.3, and Gabbard's at 1.7. Oh yeah, I was going to go to the Iowa caucuses. So we do have two states in the Iowa caucus, as well as the New Hampshire primary. Buttigieg winning the Iowa caucus, and... We'll get to the New Hampshire primary afterwards. But in the results, Sanders did win the popular vote in Iowa, winning 24.7%, Biden getting 14.9%, Buttigieg getting 21.3%, Warren getting 18.5%, Klobuchar getting 12.7%, Yang getting 5.1%, Steyer getting 1.7%, Gabbard getting 02 and Bloomberg probably just right in with 0.1%. Sanders did slightly better than he was polled. Bloomberg, uh, Biden did worse. Buttigieg did better. Warren did better. Klobuchar did better. Yang did better. Steyer did worse. And Gabbard did worse. In New Hampshire, it was a tie in the delegates. Sanders did win the popular vote. And he won nine of the delegates. Buttigieg won nine. And Klobuchar won six delegates. Sanders did win the popular vote by 1.3%, though, getting 25.7%. Buttigieg is getting 24.4%. Klobuchar getting 19.8%. Warren getting 9.2%. Biden getting 8.4%. 2.8% for Yang. 3.3% for Gabbard. 3.6% for Steyer. 0.4% for Patrick. And 0.3% for Bonnet. Bonnet, Patrick, and Yang have dropped out of the race now, leaving eight candidates. In the previous Nevada caucus, Hillary Clinton won with 52.7% to uh, Sanders 47.2%. On Predict It, it shows, let me update this just in case, Sanders has an overwhelming chance to win the Nevada caucus, giving him 88 cents. Biden with seven cents, Buttigieg with seven, Warren with four, and so on is at one cents. And if you go to the 90 days, it's pulling Warren and Klobuchar. It looked pretty even, and then all of a sudden Sanders took a large lead and Biden fell. Buttigieg got a bump, but has lost it. I did make a spreadsheet for... Why is that? Hold on, let me. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. I did make a spreadsheet for um, results versus polling and a difference between the two for Iowa caucus. Sanders was 1.7% up from the polling, Biden was 4.4% down, Buttigieg was 4.5% up. 3% up for Warren, 3.7% up for Klobuchar, 
down 1.3% for Steyer and down 1.3% for Gabbard. In the New Hampshire primary, Bernie Sanders was down 3%, Biden down 2.6%, Buttigieg up 3.1%, Elizabeth Warren down 1.8%, Klobuchar up 8.1%, Steyer up 1.9%, and Gabbard at 0 so I took the two differences, added them together, and divided them by two to get an average difference between polling and results. For Sanders, down 0.7%, Joe Biden down 3.5%, Buttigieg up 3.8%, Warren up 06 Klobuchar up 5.9%, Tom Steyer up 0.3%, and Gabbard down 0.7%. So then I took the Nevada caucus polling... And I took the average difference between both the Iowa and New Hampshire results. And I took that difference and I subtracted or added it to the current polling. Sanders went from 30% down to 29.3%. Biden went from 16% down to 12.5%. Pete Buttigieg went from 14% up to 17.8%. Warren went from 13.7 up to 14.3. Klobuchar went from 10 to 15.9. Steyer went from 10.3 to 10.6. Gabbard went from 2 down to 1.3. So, this I would see is actually a pretty good prediction on polling, how I took the difference between the actual polling and I took that difference to the polling results to get my prediction. And I think that this will be a good indicator to see if polls are continuing to be in these directions to current, to certain candidates favoring slightly or unfavoring slightly. But it is taking the average on RCP, which I think is very good to see a more broad perspective and to have balancing on each other. Um, we're now going to do the prediction. We're currently have the results in with Buttigieg in first place with 23 delegates, Sanders at 21, Warren at 8, Klobuchar at 7, and Biden in last with 6, um, not counting Gabbard, Steyer, or Bloomberg in Nevada. We're in a first, let me drag this over, we're going to first take the polling 30% for Sanders, so that's about 11 delegates, 16% for Biden, about 6 delegates, 14% for Pete, about 5, 13.7 for Warren, 10% for Klobuchar, 10% for Steyer, And 2% for Gabbard. And now we're going to adjust these to the results. Gabbard wouldn't get any delegates. Actually, I'm just doing this by percentage. Um, so to the prediction, 29.3. So that will drop to about 10 delegates, I believe. 12.5% for Biden. So this is going to drop one delegate. So 17.8% for Pete Buttigieg. That'll bring him from five delegates up to seven. Klobuchar. Uh, hold on, let me get rid of Gabbards. And I'll do Steyer first, actually. Steyer getting about 10.6%. He will drop, even though he did gain, but Klobuchar overwhelmingly gained pushing her to six delegates, making it uh, Sanders getting 10 delegates, Buttigieg in second place with seven, Klobuchar in third place with six, Biden and Warren tying with five delegates each, and Steyer getting last with three delegates, excluding Gabbard and Bloomberg. So, if these results do occur, Sanders will take the lead with 31 delegates, followed behind in second place, Buttigieg with 30. In third place, a tie between Warren and Klobuchar with 13 each. Biden in fourth place with 11. And fifth place, Steyer with 3. 
I also put a poll on my Twitter page. Let me refresh just in case. Why does this look like... Hold on, let me just go back. I don't know why. Oh, it's I signed out for some reason. Um, Biden at 15.8% of the vote and who they think will win the Nevada caucus. Bernie Sanders the known for overwhelming 73.7%. Warren with 5.3 and Pete Buttigieg at 5.3. So if you not have you if you have not yet done so, please go follow me on Twitter at Nick Predictions, right here. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, so go check it out. Please follow me if you do have a Twitter page. I release polling, as well as let me scroll, states and predictions. This is the state of Washington. I did Democrat votes. Republican votes, Libertarian, Green, total votes, turnout, and margin on my prediction for 2020. So go check it out. Please go follow me there. And thank you for watching the video. Please go subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, get notified when new videos come out. Bye.